Now that I'm a month into working, I am so thankful for this opportunity, but also looking back on my time not working, I wish so much that I wasn't so hard on myself. I think there were days I would just like cry in bed, nights where I'd just feeling so low, so lost, not knowing what direction my life was gonna go. Like, yes, I got the courage to like put myself out there on social media as far as YouTube goes, but I think I was really, really challenged with finding value in myself outside of how I identify with what I do for work. Cause I think as humans, we pour so much of our value into what we do and our productivity and really challenged me to dig deeper. And I think if I were to do those, what, eight months, almost nine months not working again, I would just be a lot more just present and just enjoying. I did a good job enjoying I mean, look at the vlogs, you know? <laughs> but between the, those times and the snippets that I show you guys where I'm happy and I'm in the moment, always in the back of my mind was like worry, you know? And I just wish I could tell myself that it's all gonna be okay and the universe and this world has so many amazing plans for you and it's gonna happen the way it should as long as you're putting in the work, the time. So if anyone else out there is getting laid off or is in a position right now where things just don't seem like they're working out, like just keep trucking along and I promise it always, always gets better. And if you have the opportunity to just relax and not have to hustle, like take that in. You have your whole life to hustle and you have your whole life to work. Be present with the opportunity you're given. So yeah, that's what I learned. I'm really excited I, to be working again and getting back into this routine. I've just found I love a structured job and I love to be able to have that structure but also dive into things like YouTube and live my life really fully because my structured jobs allows me to do that. And I just feel very lucky. I feel very, 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 very lucky. That's my little rant. I obviously have been reflecting a lot lately and as you know my last vlog was very emotional <laughs> i was started crying at the end seeing your people that you love happy is probably one of the best feelings you can ever feel your loved ones like happy smiling and good things happening to them oh i could cry right now like it's just such a beautiful thing to witness and i think that's why i got so emotional i'm thinking about michael and b's engagement because i'm just so happy for them and i'm just happy for myself i think this is a very transformative time in my life and I think now that I have some stability, I'm able to just be and also maybe take more risk with some stability. So we'll see. I, I just love where I'm at. But thank you for listening to my rant. We are two hours and 20 minutes away. Two hours and 20 minutes away. And honestly, that Diet Coke sounds real good from McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Seven out of ten. Yeah, same. Seven. Seven out of ten. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> We're getting thirsty, so let's go find something to, to drink. Watermelon juice is a solid nine. Nine? Yes, Ooh, not too sweet. Good. Literally just watermelon. Mango's really sweet though. Yeah, mango's really good. That's really good. Reading? Wow, I really like this. <laughs> like, the little sugar crystals gives it a nice crunch. Mm -hmm. And the bread is like so like doughy. Whipped cream's and not too sweet. I just love whipped cream. So <laughs> whipped cream instantly already puts out like a positive eight. <laughs> and I give their matcha eight and a half. It's really good. Okay. Mmm. Oh. Wow. I may have to give that a nine. Wow, the perfect balance of everything. Like the sugar crystals are crunchy, but the dough is doughy. And then you have the creaminess from the whipped cream and the yeah. freshness from the strawberries. Oh. It's really fragrant. I love Ultimate that. combination. Chris and I spent the rest of the trip cafe hopping and visiting Stanley Park. It was seriously so much fun. I feel so lucky to be able to share these moments with him. I've really been enjoying using my vlogs as a digital diary into my life, and more recently, my mind. Trips like this make me emotional, as do many things in this world, but I think I get so sentimental creating content like this because it allows me to think back on these memories and reflect. If you know me, you know how much I pride myself in being independent. I'm reluctant to lean on others, I feel proud when I do things on my own. And for me, trust is earned, not given. Chris and I have been together for five and a half years now, soon to be six. And honestly, I cannot believe it's been so long. This relationship has been the hardest thing I have done, without a doubt. It has taught me so much about myself and has challenged my capacity to love, accept love, and commit to love. And let me tell you, as someone who is easily threatened by anything that can take her independence away, this has been quite a journey, but it's also what makes it so beautiful and worth committing to. I say trust is earned, and I really mean that. I grew up in a family where words didn't mean much, but actions spoke volumes. I felt the love and care through the bowl of soup my mom would spend all day preparing for me, 
or the fact she never missed a soccer game, or the way she would work all day only to come home and work all night to support all five of us kids. It's a way she would pray for our health and safety. It's accumulation of all the little things. I think this is why Chris's love feels so familiar, like home. And because it does, my walls that tell me to be independent and strong come down. It allows me to let him in. It allows me to trust him. He does the small things just like mom, the cooking after a long day because he knows how hangry I can get, the washing of the sheets before I come home from a trip because he knows it's my favorite feeling in the world, and the patience he gives me when I'm not my best self. It's the unconditional love, the one that embraces all of me. As a little girl, I often wondered what dating would look like as an adult. I wondered who my partner would be, what we would talk about, and how we would bond. All I can say is little me would be so proud and happy. So babe, if you're listening to this, thank you. I will treasure moments like this forever and I hope we never stop being us.